two, 360 Strong Women. I'm Beth. Today we're back in the kitchen and I had some leftovers and I thought, let's make a really nice, healthy chicken soup. So what we're going to need today is a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some organic unsalted bone broth. I've got some brown basmati rice and I'm going to use a cup. And then I had some grilled chicken left over. It's all been marinated with some green peppers, a little bit of oregano, black pepper, and some sun-dried tomatoes. And that's been already cooked and grilled up. And I just uh, roughly chopped it. You could shred this. I have a zucchini that's been quartered. I have a yellow onion that I've chopped up some squash that I've quartered, some celery, and some carrots. And then I'm gonna use black pepper, a little bit of cayenne, some turmeric, and a little bit of garlic for flavoring. You can add all of the spices that you want. I highly recommend putting a little cayenne and some turmeric into this. Not only is it flavorful, but it's anti-inflammatory, so it makes the soup um, extra healthy. So let's get cooking. I've chopped everything down and got it already prepped. We're going to put a little bit, and I've already done that, in my Dutch oven, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add some black pepper and a little bit of spices to it. I'm going to put my chopped vegetables in first and start to cook them down and soften them. And then I'm going to add my chicken and my broth and then add the rice and cook it all down. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my spices in. I like to use the thick um, coarse black pepper. I'm gonna put that in. You can measure it out. I've been doing this a while, so I just use my, you know, a sprinkle here, a little bit there. I have a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to put a little bit of cayenne in, not too much. I don't wanna make it hot, I just want to give it that anti-inflammatory um, punch, if you will. And some turmeric. You could also add some grated fresh ginger to this. That would be really nice. And then I'm going to start to turn my oven on and put my vegetables in and start to get them softened. So I've got my carrots. I like my soups nice and chunky. If you don't like them this chunky, you can chop them up very fine. You could blend them down with an immersion so you've got the vegetables all blended and you have a very smooth soup. You could do it that way. I just like it very chunky. Chunkier the better to me. So it's more like stew. All right, and then I'm going to add the rest. I'm going to start to soften this. Now, if you were just using chicken that was uncooked, you would cook your chicken first. I would cool it and then shred it. I already had my chicken all cooked down, and so I just shredded it. It's all ready to go. So I just need these vegetables to cook down. As everything starts to heat up, I'm going to blend the spices, the olive oil. So I'm just tossing my vegetables so that they're well coated. And then I'm going to let it cook down. I'm going to add a little bit of my bone broth. Now you could just use vegetable stock. It doesn't have to be bone broth. I like the bone broth only because it gives you a little bit of extra protein. But you're getting a lot of protein from the vegetables. So if you're a vegan or vegetarian, and you can just use regular vegetable stock. I'm more plant-based, so mostly plants. And I use my protein as what we would call condiment. Add a little bit of the 
the bone broth to this just so that it can start to cook down and get soft. I'll show you what that looks like. Here are the vegetables, and we're starting to smell that. Again, smell a vision. We're smelling roasted vegetables. They're cooking down, they're getting soft, they're blending in with all of the flavors of the spices. Now, you can go out into your garden, which I think I'm going to add some fresh rosemary to this, and some fresh oregano, and some fresh sage. And now we've added our fresh herbs. I just cut them out of the garden, washed them off, patted them dry, and then chopped them up roughly. Sage, parsley, rosemary, thyme. And then added my rice and my chicken. We're going to stir all of that in and then let put the lid on it and let it simmer. And then once the vegetables are soft and the rice is soft and it's all cooked down, we are ready to serve this and you can serve this with a salad and you've got double the vegetables very healthy chicken stock's really good for you lots of protein lots of vitamins lots of minerals and anti-inflammatory properties now we're just letting the soup simmer down it's going to cook until it's all nice and tender and then we're going to serve it up some tips you can use any kind of vegetables you want I'm using the ones that are in season right now once the season is done you can add frozen vegetables to this it's really simple it's an easy way to get a healthy hearty meal in and then another little tip is when you're using rice or quinoa, which you could use or lentils which you could use very all very healthy you pick what you like they absorb the broth. So you can either add more water to this as they cook down, because they'll keep absorbing the broth, or just have a little extra bone broth or vegetable stock on hand so that you can add to it and make the soup the consistency that you like. Enjoy this recipe, it's super easy. I'll put, I'll put the ingredients in the description. It took me zero time to make this because I had everything on hand. So this would be kind of like leftovers, let's make soup. It's really healthy for you. So enjoy it. Don't forget, hit our button, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.